Hey guys, it's Lance of Mac Sound Solutions, and I'm gonna do a little extra mini late night Mac mini video. Still fighting a cold, so I'm sorry if I sound a little nasal and I look like hell. But I know you're not here for my looks, folks. I know that. So anyway, I figured out how to encrypt your external home folder. If you've been following my channel and my latest videos, I show you how to move most of your data onto an external drive. Check out those videos. They're up here somewhere. Today, we're just going to encrypt our external drive with our home folder on it. Now, if you have haven't set this up yet, you can encrypt it first when you format it, APFS encrypted. But first we're just going to encrypt our pre-existing external drive with our home folder on it. And so there's no confusion here. The white box, it says Mac on it, that looks like the Mac mini box. That's just a custom icon I created and the drive's name is Home X. That is where my external user accounts with their home folders live. So I don't want somebody to just be able to grab that drive and walk off with it. And then they've got all my files. They've got all my data. It's all accessible. They can plug it into another computer and just get all my data. So I want to encrypt this drive, but there's been a catch with this and I finally kind of figured it out. And if someone has a better way of doing this, please leave a comment. But my way of doing it is to encrypt the drive. So we're gonna hold down the control key or the alt mouse button we're going to click on the drive and then we're going to go to encrypt home x now it's going to ask us for a password i just use my login password i don't like to use a bunch of different passwords but you can use whatever you want use something you're going to remember because if you forget it guess what you can't get into your drive okay so we're going to encrypt it with my known password and this is gonna take some time to encrypt. It's the kind of thing you should probably just walk away and encrypt it. And you'll know when it's done, when you check on the drive by holding control click again, it'll say decrypt as opposed to encrypt, or it'll say encrypting if it's still encrypting the drive. So I will be back when it's done. And today's sponsor is Orico. I'm using one of their NVMEs in the Zyke Drive enclosure. It's a two terabyte NVMe rated up to 7,000 megabytes per second, which I will not be getting over Thunderbolt 4. The max you're gonna get is 3,000 megabytes per second because that's the limitation of Thunderbolt 4. But if you have the new Mac Mini with an M4 Pro chip with Thunderbolt 5 and use one of these in a Thunderbolt 5 enclosure, you're gonna get get very close to 7,000 megabytes per second, which is crazy fast. And you can get it with my discount code, link in the description. And just to show you a quick Blackmagic speed test, I ran this for quite some time and I never saw it throttle. I didn't see the numbers change. It had one or two dips on the right speeds, but it's been very consistent. And I've seen other videos with the Zyk drive and the Samsung 990 Pro, and those run really hot and draw more power. So those can throttle. The Oricos did not seem to. So we're booting back up now that our encryption is done. And I'm just gonna show you here, this is what happens if you try and log in to your external encrypted drive that's got your home folder, your user account on it. You're gonna get the spinning beach ball and then you're gonna get an error that pops up and you're gonna be like, what? Lance, I can't log into my computer. And that is why we need that backup internal user account. So now we've gotten to the part of the video where I'm gonna show you the workaround and you're gonna say like, thank God, Lance, you're taking a long time. Okay, and this is one reason I tell you in the other videos, you gotta have an internal user administrative account. So I'm gonna log in to my internal user, which is on the internal drive, it takes up absolutely no space. The top two are my external users. The bottom one is my backup internal. And I'm gonna put in my usual password and log in to the internal user on the internal hard drive. And lo and behold, this window pops up. Enter the password to unlock the disk, Home X. Okay, that's our encrypted drive. It's now encrypted. And the first thing that happens, it asks us to log in our password. And then we want to remember this password in our keychain. And there it is. Our password was accepted. 
the hard drive is now mounted and it's remembered by the internal user. So every time we boot up the computer from now on, the drive will automatically mount if you log into the internal user first, because it won't ask us for the password anymore. We saved it in our keychain. So now the boot sequence going forward will be boot the computer, log into your internal user first. And once you're at the desktop, your external drive will now mount. And then you just have to go up to the fast user switching and select your external account you wanna log into. In my case, Lance X, I type in my password, boom, I'm in to the encrypted external drives home folder user account. And you know, if you don't shut down your computer 10 times a day, this is not a big deal. It's just one time you have to do it when you boot up. And now your external data is protected. It's encrypted and no one can walk off with your drive and get into your data. And to turn on fast user switching like you just saw me do, you can go to control center in the system settings, scroll down to fast user switching, turn it on, show in menu bar, and I've got it set to icon. You can have the name of the user, the account name, whatever you want. So now it says Lance X, and I can go up there and switch between any of the users. Of course, I have to know their passwords. And I have two user accounts currently on my external drive. So they are sharing that encrypted password, but they're not sharing the user account. So even though I'm in one user account, I can't get into the other one unless I know their password. So both accounts are protected by encryption and by their own personal password. And if you wanna go encryption crazy, you can use File Vault on the internal user. And File Vault only works on encrypting the internal drive. You cannot use it on external drives. That's why we're doing this separate encryption of our external drive. So if you've got a brand new drive and you wanna encrypt it, you just use Disk Utility and you click on Erase, which of course erases the entire drive. And then you put in your name of the drive and you select APFS Encrypted. So we put in our password, we hit Choose, then we hit Erase and we're done. And now you can set up your external user slash home folder on the external drive. Check out my earlier videos on how to do that. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.